The first app is a live wallpaper that corresponds to the color of the album art of the music I'm playing. So every time I change the music track, the colors also change. It's basically a live wallpaper that brings the live background feature in Apple Music to most Android music players. Now the current playing album art, it just gets blurred and distorted in an abstract liquid-like form and it shakes when the beat drops. The app is called Diffuse and there is a free but limited version and a paid full-fledged version. I've got 30 promo codes and I'm going to give them all out, details in the description below. The next app on the list is this beautiful wallpaper app called Wallrod. The wallpaper collection, as you can see, is really unique. You'll probably not find them anywhere else. They're all extremely high resolution and the collection is just fabulous. And a lot has to do with the choice of colors. They're sort of vibrant and they work really well on AMOLED screens. It's called Wallrod Wallpapers. Try it out. And guys, I'm trying to reach 200,000 subscribers. It'll be great if you could drop a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so I can reach closer to my goal. Next, I've got this really good looking volume slider. You can see it's got this live wave and you get all the other sliders. You get a knob style, you can have a Windows 10 style. So yeah, you can opt for different volume slider styles. And pretty much that's what the app is called. It's called volume styles. And you can choose from a bunch of these really customized, good looking volume sliders if you're bored of the one that you have. Coming to the next one, it's filter box. Essentially, you can create rules for notifications that you get from specific apps. For example, I can say that for Gmail, any notification that contains, let's say a particular text, if that's what you want, between 10 p.m. and let's say 10 a.m. And then I can decide whether I want that notification to be dismissed, just muted, or just postpone it so it comes back to me later. And a quick shout out to mobile trans that allow you to transfer, backup and restore your WhatsApp messages in just one click between any two devices. It's an extremely easy and reliable setup so definitely check it out and there is a discount code in the description below. The next one is called bundled notes where you can maintain lists, to-do lists and even reminders. Now this app is extremely great in the way it approaches all of this. For example, I've got a shopping list where I can create lists of things I need to buy and attach a tag. And then I can quickly filter by those tags. For example, what do I need to buy which is electronic and from Amazon. So I can just do that. Now here's the interesting way to use this app. Let's say I've got a bunch of movies or TV shows and I've tagged them as want, watching and watched. Let's say I go to want and I start watching one, I just click on it and it moves automatically to watching tag. And if I click on that, let's say that I'm done watching Panchayat, I can just tap done and it moves automatically to watched tag. And so there's this pipeline effect which I think can really help you in managing your work as well. It's called a to-do tag and all you have to do is while creating the tag, say that it's a to-do tag and you decide which tag it moves to. Now, there are a lot of these formatting options that are also available, like header styles. You can bold or italicize the text. You can create checklist items and numbered items and even bullets. And there's more to come. You can also set reminders and set the priority. So that's really cool. With this next app, I've been able to configure a long swipe from the center or a long press on the home screen to take a screenshot. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Just install Screenshot Assistant and you'll be all set. The last one is called Dolby On for recording audio or music or even videos and great for creators who want to do podcasts or even vlogs. So it's got the option to record audio and video both. But the best part about the app is actually the quality that it records in, which is obviously Dolby Sound. Now the app does have some examples of how it is much better than usual, which is when the Dolby is off. So definitely give it a try. Now everything that you record appears in the gallery and you can then edit, share or you could delete. And there's a bunch of filters that are available on top. So if you want to quickly see your audio tracks or video tracks, you can do that. Definitely recommend you try it out.